So I'm here with uh, David Balfour from Record of the Day and uh, we're Music Connected. I just wanted to check in on your thoughts. Uh, first of all, your thoughts on the panel that, sh that uh, you, you just moderated on music streaming. Uh, what was your overall thoughts on, on, on that? It was an interesting panel um, because, you know, there's been a million panels about music streaming and they tend to try and cover too many issues, whereas we tried to cover something really quite specific. It was like, how do we work catalogue on streaming services and that? because it was a limited subject actually helped us to really get into it a little bit and look at some of the detail rather than oh our streaming service is paying enough to artists which most panels tend to be and you never get anywhere we were like yeah well so how how do we work on streaming services how do we work our catalog how do we work with playlists how do we work with apps and because the people here are to a large part labels or distributors this was hopefully useful to them to get into some specific detail about ideas for the various different services and it was good because we had a really good cross-section we had spotify and deezer and audio and e-music which of course isn't a streaming service but is a subscription service and napster so yeah a good cross-section cross-section and, and uh, it was interesting to, to start with uh, what you pointed out which is that indies have really punched above their weight when it comes to their market share on streaming services uh, and uh, do you think you know that the relationship with the uh, with music streaming services is only going to grow, grow stronger between indies and and, and you know the likes of Spotify and Deezer and and uh, how can that materialize f as a positive for the Indies as well? You know, it's actually always been pretty good with the streaming services. I think Spotify being the big player in the market, when they got into the music market, they realized from the outset that independent content was important, that they needed to respect the independent labels because their users would want independent music. So it's always been a very positive relationship and they, they've worked very closely with Merlin, the Indies rights body. So that's set a template that's actually very very positive where we have great relationships we have really good access to the people who work there and they're always trying to help us because they know that our music is important so yeah it's a really good situation actually yeah. Yeah. and of course you know you, you are you have the double hat of a journalist and and also working at working at fine tunes and how do you find music connected as an event is, is it your first time here and uh, you know what are your reasons for coming back if, if it's not uh, i've been here probably eight or nine times by now and i come here every year it's unique in that the whole uk independent record business in particular is here every year and it's great because actually in the early years I maybe organised a lot of meetings these days I come, I know that I'm going to see everyone, the panel subjects are always really well thought out, AIM put a lot of work into that and I know various people are involved so they're good at making sure that this event is not just taking your money but it's actually giving you something useful and it has the two sort of parts where you know you're going to meet lots of people who you want to talk to anyway plus there's some interesting discussions which can actually teach you some new things as well so yeah it's great and it's a one-day event which is nice it's manageable yeah that's great thank you so much thank you